Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, uh, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. It's another exciting day for all of you Noel Gallagher enthusiasts because uh, I'm going to be talking about Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds uh, with a new song called Dead to the World that came out on the 23rd of March. Um, I'll do the theme tune and then we'll get cracking. Nice one. Justin Hawkins Rides Again Again I'll probably keep the guitar because... No, I stick on the stand. Uh, because first of all, um, the new Justin Hawkins Rides Again podcast is uh, being released tomorrow. And I'd love as many of you as possible to get involved with it. Um, so watch it, comment on it, you know, do all that stuff. And um, let's begin a searching and a nuanced dialogue about the pitfalls of the music trade. They're about an hour long each and they're going to be released every Monday at 5pm BST, which means... Um, England time. Again. Dead to the World, the fourth track taken from Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds' forthcoming album, Council Skies, is out on June the 2nd. Council Skies, eh? But you can't see that was from fucking uh, Little Venice. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, t- I'm taking inspiration from, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Matty Healy from the 75. Dead to the World uh, is by some distance my favourite tune on the album, said Noel Gallagher. Um, it is. It has this film noir vibe. I love film noir vibes. Um, it's not like anything else I've ever done before. It's very melancholic, but I like that. I'm a Gemini. I'm as up as I am down, and the trick is to meet somewhere in the middle and turn that into music. I think Gemini's... Uh, what is it about Gemini's? Ah, don't know anything about horoscopes. Use the comments section below to educate me, because, you know, until this point, I've never given a f***. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm a Pisces, so incredibly emotional. Um, but I never cry, weirdly. I don't know why that is. Um, Noel goes on, to, maybe the tear ducts have dried up through um, overuse as a, as a younger man, or lack of use as a middle-aged man. There just aren't as many reasons to cry when you get to this age. And then when you do, you sort of like, you have to hide it, from what I've read. Um, anyway, Noel goes on to speak of... <laughs> let's not get into the mental health stuff, uh, unless you want to. Use the comments section below and then we'll discuss it in the comments. Noel goes on to speak about working with Rosie Danvers, who did some of the arrangements. Rosie gets what I do, he said in a London accent. Uh, Essex, probably. Uh, Spending a weekend recording strings in Abbey Road, that's one of the great privileges in a musician's life. It sounds majestic. That's really true. I I haven't um, done it in Abbey Road, but whenever you hear like an orchestral arrangement of one of your songs, it really does uh, make you... Well, it moves you. um, And for those of you who are predisposed to the occasional tear, yes, a tear may fall. A single tear may tumble from your cheek. Um, anyway, Liam Gallagher voiced his opinion on Noel's new song on Twitter. How can such a mean-spirited little man <laughs> write such a beautiful song? <laughs> he asks, before adding, knowing me, knowing you, as you were. Liam Gallagher. Kiss. When one fan beneath the tweet comments, it lacks your voice, but it's all right. And Liam responds, it does indeed. I think these are all fair points, uh, you know, although I haven't heard the song yet. Another fan asks, what a compliment or a criticism to the reply of, it was both. Is that all right with you? (laughs) Earlier this week, Liam accused the high-flying birds frontman of causing a lot of damage to Oasis as a brand. (laughs) He said, here's how I see the little fella, also known as Potato, has done a lot of damage to Oasis as a band stroke brand. He's got a lot of making up to do, not just to me, but to you, the fans, the people that put us where we are today. His words were directed at his brother following Noel's invite for Liam to get his people to call my people to discuss the potential of an Oasis reunion. Noel's invitation has sparked, um, was sparked following Liam's tweet posted on March the 18th when, when a fan asked, is there a small percentage that Oasis get back together? In response, he said, it's happening. Wow. Okay, well, that's really exciting. Oh, my God. Um, so to Noel and Liam, if you do need a, an additional guitar player, um, I <coughs> just hit me up. All right, yeah. I pick things up really easy, and, and I know all the old stuff. So let's do it. Oh God, that would be awesome, actually. Yeah, hit me up. Nice one. Right, let's have a little look at the uh, Dead to the World. <laughs> Disco music, woman going up, uh, 
Yeah. Woman climbing up the building in fashionable clothes because that's what they're selling. It's the fashionable clothes. Is it? Liefde sugar. Fashion- oh, shoes. The- right, here we go. Bending over backwards for love, eh? Enough about my sex. Oh, forget about it. Ooh, lovely arrangement. Okay, so this is what the um, he was referring to. Um, who was it again that does that? Uh, Rosie Danvers. Um, now, I'm really fussy about um, orchestral arrangements. I, I like it when they're not sort of repetitive. Otherwise, it just sounds like a sample. This doesn't. This sounds awesome. That little glit, uh, what's it called when they do that? It's not a gliss, is it? When it glides up to the sort of has a little portamento, as we call it in the uh, synthesizer world. Yes, I'm in the synthesizer world. I've got synthesizers all over my fucking arms, and I. You can change your Love that glide up. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Wow, and then all the other strings come in. It's just really gorgeous. Oh my God, this is really good, isn't it? Arrangement-wise, it's got that stuff that people get wrong a lot of the time, that sort of Scott Walkery vibe. But his voice is really good in this. Sometimes it can be a little bit... Um, sometimes you do listen to Noel Gallagher's stuff and then you wish it was Liam singing it because you can really imagine those just being brilliant Oasis songs. But he's doing a great job on this one. <laughs> I mean, listen to that, the finesse in that sleeping. Sleeping. It's, that doesn't even wobble it. Sleeping. See, this is the bit that sort of has a slightly Jack Brell, Scott Walkerish vibe when the accordion comes in. You don't hear it in the, in the field of... Uh, rock very often. I mean, one notable example would be on What It Takes by Aerosmith. Uh, dee, 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 um, in the middle of that, uh, tell me what it takes to let you go. Dee, 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 on the accordion. It's just nice to hear it here, having its own sort of moment in the spotlight. <laughs> I once uh, delved into the murky world of accordions. There's so many to choose from. This one, I would guess, is a Belgian accordion. But that's a complete stab in the dark, based on absolutely no knowledge of accordions whatsoever, other than the fact that there's lots of different kinds. <laughs> and they come from lots of different countries on mainland Europe, and probably South America too? Probably not. I don't know. Let these be my last words. And then he opens his voice up to say, let these be my last words, and it's so poignant. Oh my God, this is like... Beautiful. Oh, shit. Noel, it's beautiful! Damn you! Okay, I'm, I'm moved by this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man. It's really good. I'm tired uh, and emotional. Pisces. Um, but this pesky Gemini has moved me. This is great. Oh, that's nice. Nice little tag. That string hook. It's really addictive. I wonder if that's talking about, like, when the energy of your consciousness and being alive and all that stuff vanishes from the mortal coil and is searching for the next vessel you lose I would well you must lose your memory because you're the spirit in if this is a reincarnation thing leaves in theory okay my theory the body uh, and then goes looking elsewhere. I mean, the, the energy is just transferred. But the thing about the body is that it includes the hard drive with all of your pictures and stuff on. That's called your brains. That's just science, guys. 
there you have it. Um, it's really an excellent song and a, a lovely thing to listen to. Well done, Noel Gallagher. Um, I did actually have a little weep in the middle of that, so that's how you know it's good. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. I chose an E minor 7. Yeah, that was what I got. E, e minor 7. With an extra minus seventh there, that's the... <coughs> Who cares? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch one of these two videos, and yes, do leave a comment uh, on any of the subjects that I've touched on today, and uh, we'll discuss them in the next comments episode. And listen out for the uh, long-form podcast coming out tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Lots of love to you. See you on the eyes. Okay.